been listening to the voice of Hollywood, that enchanted town. Here is the place where adventure came, riding in on the magic rug and spilled his magic on those below. Where else can fame spread her wings so fast? A youth today is a star tomorrow. All is gay. Here's your yeast, Mom. Thanks, dear. Get ready for supper now. All right. I can't possibly get home for dinner tonight. Oh, the market's in a terrible state. Worst panic ever known. Yes, now uh, you must be a brave little wife and be prepared for the worst. Goodbye. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Well, dear, I decided to come home for dinner after all. I bought you some flowers. Violet. What's the matter, dear? You didn't kiss me. You're pale. And you're trembling. Aha! There's somebody else in this room. I feel his presence. Your lover, no doubt. Now oh, don't try to lie to me. Where is he? Ha! Aha! In the closet. That's where he is. Come out of there, you head. Come out! Come out! I wish you'd keep your acting out of the ice box. Well, I didn't hurt it, Mom. All right. of Hollywood. We continue our broadcast from our studio in Hollywood, California. The next motion picture star to speak to you this afternoon is one of the greatest film favorites of the day. Oh, look! Oh, oh darling, you've come! 
Come here. Oh, you can't imagine, Mother. I never expected it to soon. Hey, what's going on here? What's the matter? Hey, everything is great. Oh, darn. Look, I want you to me. Hurry up, dear. Yeah. Look at that first Hey, what's the matter here? Success, Dad. That's what it is. Mr. O'Brien, the planet company's written me. He's written nice to tell him in my face. Look, Dad, he's written me, I tell you. Written me. Oh, read it, dear. Read it. Uh, very impressed with a picture. And if you ever come to Hollywood, I'll be glad to give you a test. Woo oh. oh, oh, isn't that wonderful, Father? Our boy. Yeah, well, it's more than I expected, I'll admit that. I'll have to leave it once, Mother. Uh, how about the expense? Well, I've got $17 in the bank, and uh, I'd sell my bicycle. Uh, wait a minute, son. I'll buy you a ticket. In fact, I'll buy you a round trip ticket. Well, thanks, Dad, but I won't need a round trip. Because I'm not coming back on a train. When I come back, I'll come rolling in a Rolls Royce. Oh. How do you expect to make good? Where you get your stupid carelessness from is more than I'll understand to my dying day. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. I forget something? Yes, sir. Oh. Senor, you've been very kind. Oh, not at all. That was very easy to do. Have a cigarette? No, thank you. My uh, car's out there. There's room for two. Oh, thank you very much. I'm waiting for my friends to come and get me. Where are you going to stay? At the house of Senor Cordova. Is the number in the book? Si. All right, dear. Uh, fix your makeup, will you? Mm -hmm. And yours is a bit shiny, too. Fix it up. Oh, yeah? Uh, What's next, Chief? Why, uh, get all your atmosphere together over here. Okay. And Jack, uh, line up your camera, will you, over here for a long shot? You bet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pardon me, uh, you're in the light. Do you mind? Thank you very much. You know, this is my first experience with an actor. Very interesting. Oh, yeah? <coughs> it's been a great pleasure to have known you. Oh, pardon me. Would you uh, autograph my book? I'm collecting famous names. Thank you, Mr. Scranton. Well, the last time we had a microphone shattered right across their face. Will you be a little more careful this time with it, pal? How's the makeup now? Okay. Now look, here's the scene where you drop the rolls. Vance comes in, picks it up, and gives it to you. Be sure to drop the rolls so the camera gets it. Uh, remember, it's your first meeting. Bill? Yes? Have you got your extra people ready? Everything's all set. Is that all the people we've got? Why, yes, what's wrong? Why, that's no good. We've got to have more people. Ask some of these spectators that they won't walk through. Okay. 
Say, listen, buddy, would you mind helping us out by walking through this scene? You mean act? Yes. Now, if you just stop from this truck here and go to that new stand over there, I'll give you the signal when to start, see? Well, am I the type for the part? Oh, you'll be a knockout. Listen, folks, would you mind walking through this scene? Sure, I'd love well, to. Come right over here now, please. Uh, Say, Bill, get some of these people over here, will you? Okay. Send them through down there. How about and this have over some... here? <laughs> Sitting over here, too. All ready? Places! <laughs> Got your cameras all set, Jack? Yeah, cameras are all set. All right, start your cameras. Space! All ready? Action! Say, cut! Tell him, tell him. Listen, buddy, come here, come here. Now listen, pay attention to me and everything will be all right. See, this is very simple. All I want you to do is to walk from this truck here and go to that new stand over there and don't see nothing. You mean see nothing? Don't see a thing. I won't see a thing. Okay. All right, start your cameras. Hey! All right. Hey! Action! All right, take this. Yes, yes, go on, go ahead. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I can come. You, I can. What are you trying to do? I was so careful to look at nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, come on. Come on. I, I was trying so hard to be natural. Well, that's all right. Accidents will happen. Yeah, but this time. But this time, you just stand right here and watch, and everything will be fine. Y you mean you don't want me anymore? Well, if I need you, I'll let you know. Well, I'll be glad to help out in any way I can. Yeah, I understand. I appreciate it. But this time, you just stand right here, and don't you make a sound. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Okay. Quiet, everybody! Step over here, dear. I think we can see better. Your rose, senorita. Oh, gracias, senor. May I keep it? Eat it, please, would you? Can you get rid of that dumb cock? <laughs> Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, I beg your pardon. Yes, thanks. I, uh, I want to see Mr. O'Brien. 
The young lady in the next room. Thank you. I, I want to see Mr. Bryan. Uh, this letter will explain itself. Station 85. Marion, is Mr. O'Brien in? Ask him if he'd like to see a Mr. Harold Hall. Yes, Myrtle. I'll tell him. Don't bother me with seeing anybody today. I have a conference. But here's the letter you wrote him, sir. Uh huh. Yes. Nice looking fellow. Yes, lovely. Uh -huh, all right. Send him up. Station 88. Myrtle, send up Mr. Hall, will you? All righty. Marion, get Miller. I want him up here so he can make a test of Mr. Hall. Yes, sir. See me all right. Certainly is a funny man. I can't find anything when I want it. Where does she keep everything? Miller, there's a young man named Harold Hall downstairs at the desk. A fine-looking fellow. I've done all I could to get him up here, but it's beyond my power. Find him and give him a test at once. Say, hey, Myrtle, where's this Harold Hall? Oh, he just went out the door. He's squirrely. Hey, is your name Hall? Yeah. Come here. Well, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. What are you running for? Mr. O'Brien wants me to take a test of you right away. Well, I don't understand. He practically threw me out. Oh, you don't want to pay any attention to Mr. O'Brien. He's like that one minute. The next minute, he'll want to kiss you. Oh, I think he's nuts. Yeah, well, I feel a little nutty myself. <laughs> well, you came to the right place, all right. It's okay, Harry. Uh, what kind of parts do you play? Uh... Heroes. Well, that means we got to get a dame. Uh, Sherry. Oh, yeah? What about that modern set on the test stage? Yeah, we can shoot that. Listen, get it ready, will you? I'm going to shoot sure. a test on there right away. Sure, okay. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, girly. Come here. Say, Harry. Yes, sir. Take Mr. Hall over at the wardrobe, will you, and get him a dressing gown, you know, something fancy. Yes, sir. I'll be trying to think up a love scene for you. Gee, this is getting exciting. Uh, this way, sir. Yes. Hiya, Miller. Say, what do you think that guy Wolf just pulled on me? He said I had no sex appeal. Look at me. I got nothing but sex appeal. All right, I'll give you a chance to prove it. I gotta make a test of a new guy, and you can be in it. Will Wolf see it? Sure. Then lead me to it, baby. I'll show you flame enough to burn that bird up alive. Boy, that sure is wet. Say, uh, here's the coat I got for you out of the wardrobe. Oh, thank you. I'll be very careful with it. Okay. How do you think I did with my test, Mr. Miller? You come back tomorrow afternoon. By that time, Mr. O'Brien will have seen it. Uh, he'll tell you. Thank you. Oh! Anyway, there's this left. Can I go now? I'm speechless. This is beyond words. Well, I'm glad to know what it's beyond. I hope to see you again someday. Goodbye. Well, what's the matter with your... Keep away! Uh, keep oh. away! Oh. Besides, it was all my fault. 
Oh, it was your fault. Yes, sir. I was pulling my coat, see, like that. Hey! So it was your fault, eh? Well, that's all I want to know. Well, that's what I call a disagreeable policeman. Oh, this is yours. I don't know how I ever got along without you. This is the end of the line. You'll have to take a taxi from here. <laughs> I guess you're glad to get rid of me. Oh, no, my dear. It just breaks my heart. Go so home. Mary, change your clothes in a hurry. I couldn't get the top up. Couldn't you get somebody to help you? Yeah, I got somebody to help me. Take a look at the car. For heaven's sake. Who is that strange man dancing around on one foot? That's the guy who helped me. Why? Hey! Hey! Looks as though he's hurt himself. Oh? Hey, uh, uh, trouble! Oh, hello. What's the matter? Where's the leg I guess? I don't know. Well, come in and let me see. Oh, it's all right. Do as I tell you. Well, all right. Uh, let him in, Bessie. Come in. I'm changing my clothes. I'll be out in a minute. All right. Huh. You better change yours, too. Go in the other room and put them to the radiator. I'll send you something to wear. Oh, I'm... Uh, <laughs> all right. In there, sir. Huh? In there. Oh. Oh. You've only got one shoe. Yes. Only got one what? I've only got one shoe. Where's the other shoe? Down the sewer. All right, I give up. Bessie. Yes, miss. Maybe those slippers of yours will fit him. Try it anyway. Yes, miss. And then come here and give him this to put on. Yes, miss. I'll take them off. Oh, don't be silly. Come here. Come here. Sit down and let me look at your knee. I'm all right. I don't want to sit down. I'm all right. Well, that's just fine. I'm glad you're all right. That's dandy, but you just sit down here anyway. There. Well, that doesn't look so bad. The wrong knee. Oh, yes, you must be in awful pain. Oh, doesn't look so good at that. Does it hurt a lot? A little. Here are the things you wanted, miss. Oh, thanks, Bessie. Now, you leave it to Grandma. She'll fix it. What's your name, Trouble? Harold Hall. Is this your home out here? No, I, uh, I come from Littleton, Kansas. I'm in the movies. Really? Are you? Mm-hmm. Say, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could work together sometime? Yes, that would be just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Anyway, I'm not in. It's Mr. Vance. Oh, I forgot. I'm dining with him. He's drunk. 
Oh, dear, Izzy. I'll wait in the next room. No, I don't want you to. He's an actor. He's been in a couple of pictures with me. He's in love with me. Do you love him? No, I don't. What'll I do, miss? Well, let him in. Don't leave me alone with him. No matter what happens, don't leave me. Oh, you can rely on me. Well, that is news. Hello, darling. Hello. Come here. Now I know I'm drunk. No, you're not seeing things, dear. This is Mr. Hall, Mr. Vance. We were caught out in the rain. But you are drunk. Well, we talked about that at dinner. Get dressed. Can't go, dear. What do you mean, you can't go? You're too drunk. Oh, don't be silly. Listen, do you mind beating us for a minute? Well, he can't move, dear. He's been hurt. Well, we'll move then. Come on in here. No, dear, we're going to stay right here. Now, listen, Mary. I'm not so drunk, see, but, but you drive me desperate. I can't stand it. I got a drink. And if you don't marry me, I'll kill myself. <laughs> Oh, now listen, dear. You mustn't feel that way about me. I'm not worth it. No girl is. No, no girl is. Never. You will get over it, really, you will. Never, I'll never get you. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh, no, dear. There's lots of other girls in the world just as pretty as I am. No, no, I'll never get over it. Sure, you'll get over it. Sure, you will, old man. She's quite right. There's lots of other girls much prettier than she is. You're right. Oh, am I? Yes, and you're absolutely right, too, when you say that no girl's worth feeling this bad about. It's very noble of you to feel that way. Oh, is it really? But I'd like to know who asked for your opinion. But all I said was I think it's funny to realize that you're not worth it. And all I said was I'd like to know what business it is of yours. Well, no business, of course. Well, then I don't quite see why you should bother about it. I'm not bothering about it. Yes, you are, too. Just because you think I'm absolutely worthless. I didn't say absolutely. Well, you said enough. And I suppose you think no woman in the world could break your heart. Well, I, I don't think about women that way. A man's career comes first. Oh, like your career, for instance. Well, I promise you mine will come first. Yeah, that's going to be some career. I promise you, you'll be one of the best extras out here. You look so funny. Guess I'll go home. You guess you will. That's funny, too. Extra. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, all right. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Huh? I am. Why? Don't know, just am. Of course I do know. You do? Sure I do. I wouldn't want you any different. You're the one fellow I've met who hasn't tried to make a pass at me in the first five minutes. Pass of some kind. And that's pretty nice to find. Even when it's locked up in as crazy a guy as you are. Oh. Can't you say something besides, oh? Why don't you ask me my name? What is your name? Mary Sears. Oh, Mary Sears. No, not oh, Mary Sears, just Mary Sears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ever gonna look me up again, Trouble? You bet. Come around and tell me about your career. All right. You're losing your pen. Mm -hmm. How pretty. Yes, isn't it? My class pen. Very pretty. Can I keep it? Well, I, uh... Oh, well, never mind. You know, I, I always figured to give that to the girl. You know, the girl I get engaged to. Oh, now you've got me doing it. Uh, you see what I mean? Yes, I see what you mean. Maybe you'll end up by pinning it on your career. Now you sound cross again. No, I'm erratic. But not about one thing. Look, Trouble, don't change. If you get to know 50 beautiful women, be this way, will you? You're something new under the sun. And don't you lose it. Say. Say it. I've had a good time with you today. <laughs> Have you? Well, yes. I'm just beginning to realize it. 
Isn't that amazing? Just a nice gallant exit speech. Huh? Nothing. Well, goodbye. 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 Miss Mary? Miss Mary? Oh, Miss Mary? Oh, yes, Bessie. Miss Mary? Miss Mary? Oh, Miss Mary? Oh, yes? Uh, do you still want your wig dress? Oh, yes. And hurry it, will you? Yes, Miss Dude. Oh, gosh, I'll be glad when I'm through with this Spanish part. Hey, Ed. Say, where's Millen? He's inside looking at a test. Okay. Oh, Miller, got to see this test, Bill. Sit down and wait for me. Okay. Hey, Bill, you like this. We only shot it 26 times. Uh, I take you. Come out of here first, don't I? I put the coat in the... Oh, oh. Yeah. Speed! Test track 4809. All right, action. Uh, oh, cut, cut. Wait a minute. Don't answer the phone till you hear the bell. Oh, yes. Oh, oh wait a minute. Forget about the first part. Start right here. Uh -huh. Just start to pack the coat in the grip. That's all. Oh, right. Start right from here. And don't answer this until you hear the bell. What's that funny noise? Oh, that's a sound when it runs down at the end of a scene. Now, you got it? Yes. All right, quiet. Please. Action. Well, didn't you hear it? Ring it again. What? I've been wiped out in the market? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the camera. No, keep them rolling. Listen, you already know you've been wiped out in the market. When you hear the phone ring, you just say hello. You recognize the voice. You don't want to talk. All you're thinking about is getting that pack and getting out of here before your girl comes. You're heartbroken. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? Yes, I, I remember. All right, think him again. Action. Uh, uh, cut, cut, cut. Oh. NG. I don't know. I don't know whether it's me oh, or it's you, but there's something wrong here. You're all nervous. Just get cool. I'll just put this down. I'm sorry. I know, but it's the easiest thing in the world. All right, start your action. What are you trying to do? I'm sorry. Oh. Shall we stop it? Yes, cut it, cut it. Will you get this into your head? Well, I couldn't help it. The telephone fell off again in the first thing. What are you so excited about? What do you think you're doing? Well, I didn't do it. I'm awful sorry, Mr. Miller. You're breaking up the furniture, tearing the phone to pieces. So I'll do it right if you ask. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. I'll sit down and take a rest. You're all tired out. Speed. Death track 4811. All right, action. Hello? Oh. Darling. Oh, my precious, my sweetheart. The bag? What are you packing the bag for? I'm leaving you, dear. You're what? This is the last time we'll ever see each other. Harold. Oh, my dear, don't you understand? I'm doing it for your sake. The market has crashed and dragged me down with it. I've lost everything, even you. I'll live with you in a tent. I couldn't bear to see you suffer. I'll wait through the mud and love it. Oh, Marjorie. I want nothing but you. Oh, Marjorie. You're my life. Oh, Marjorie. Oh, say you love me, say it. I say do it. love you, Marjorie. I do love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.
I don't know where they pick guys up like this. Is the sound okay now? Okay. All right, let her roll. H how was it, Mr. Miller? Was it all right up that point? Yeah, but give me more heart. Make me believe that you can't live without this girl. I certainly will, Mr. Miller. Watch me this time. Just watch me. Hello. Oh, all right. Mr. O'Brien's on his way over. All right, we were on the film and start it over when he gets here. Okay. Is uh, Mr. O'Brien in? Oh, hello, Mr. Hall. Yes, oh. you'll find him in projection room three. He's looking at your test. Oh, thank you. I'm very anxious to see this test. If he's only half as good as his picture, he should screen beautifully. Well, you're going to see. What is this, a joke? Stop it! Stop it! I only did what you told me to do, Mr. O'Brien. I asked to see a test of Harold Hall. Why can't I see Harold Hall? That is Harold Hall. His name is Harold Hall? Yes, sir. Then he must have deliberately sent me a phony photo. If I ever see that worm again, I'll kick him from here to there. Oh. You're right. Hey, Chief. How'd that test turn out last night with that new fellow from France? Well, now that's different. Fine test. That fellow's a great prospect. He'll be a star in a year, or my name isn't O'Brien. You really believe that? I sure do. Oh. All right, girls, lunch. Back to work. I've got to get back to set. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Certainly is a keen camel. Yes, sir. Me, huh? Recognize you? Look, the rose. Rose? What rose? Why, the rose you threw me at the station. Don't you remember? No. Oh. But you must. You just called me, didn't you? If you don't remember throwing me the rose, well, how do you remember me at all? Oh. Oh, at the station. Yes. Now you remember. See, si, hmm. I remember the station. Yes. Yeah. But how did you know my name was Harold? Oh, I have found that out. Well, my friend, so you did not forget me, no? Oh, no. And you have met no other girl in the meantime who has impressed you so deeply? Oh, no. No puri blonde, no? Oh, no. I see. Then tell me this, my friend. I'll tell you anything. What is it about me that impresses you so vividly? Oh, everything, just, just everything. Mm hmm? You're beautiful and you're mysterious. Oh, and I think you're a great actress. So? Mm. Then maybe I could be more important to you than your career, yes? Ha, well, now, that's funny. I talked to another girl about that only yesterday. And who was she? Oh, just a girl. Oh? Uh, you know what I mean. Yes, oh. I know what you mean. A nice girl, but... Uh... Just a girl. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, what a pretty thing. You like it? Very much. May I see? You bet. It is like a jewel. If you should lose it, I hope I will be lucky enough to find it. It's yours. Oh, my friend. All yours. Gracias. You see, I pin it over my heart. Adios. That's the way with these assistant directors. They always overestimate the fit. Ten and I said he can have 40 people, but he should get along with 30. Yes, sir. By the way, Mr. O'Brien, will you sign this record here? Yeah. 
Just who I'm looking for. Oh, Mr. Vance, hello. Listen, funny looking. When I came to last night, Miss Sears told me that she liked you. Miss Sears must be going off her nut. But that isn't the point. The point is that I don't allow other men around my girl. And while you're no man, that goes for freaks, too. Well, Mr. Vance, <laughs> I don't want you to think that I'd cut you out in any way. Why, she told me before you came she didn't love you. Oh, she told you that, did she? Yes, I wouldn't lie to you. Well, now, I'm telling you something. Miss Sears may object to my drinking, but she isn't turning me down. If there's any turning down coming off, I do the turning down. And when I tell a man to keep away, he keeps away, or I turn him inside out. And that's that. Well. Oh, here. No, you don't. Uh, uh, how much? Fifty cents. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you want the peen box? Oh, no. No. I want you to accept these as a token of our friendship. Well, thank you just as much, my friend, but uh, I will have no place to put them. Goodbye. Hey! Can I return these? No. Oh. Give them to another day. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Good evening. Good evening, Bessie. Is Miss Sears in? Yes. Oh, what pretty flowers. Mm. I'll tell her you're here. Thank you. Oh, uh, listen. Don't tell her about the flowers, because I want to surprise her. I won't. Hello. I'd be very happy if you'd accept these as a token of our friendship. accept what other women refuse. Huh? What? I saw you buy them for that Spanish girl. Huh? And the way you looked at her, you sickly sap. How did I look at her? Oh, you're so mysterious. Yeah, you're a fine one to talk about being superior to women. Your career comes first, huh? Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so adorable. I didn't talk like that. Don't tell me how you talked. I heard you. you... And where is the pin? Don't feel for it because you haven't got it. You, you saw me give it to her? Yes, I saw you give it to her. Well, what can I say? Nothing, as usual. But I've got something to say. I'm here to tell you I never disliked a man so much in my life. I simply hate you. And now get out of here and take all this stuff with you. Go on, get out! <laughs> You kissed me. Huh? Oh, darling. Huh? Why? I, I can't believe it. Can't believe what? That we love each other. We do? Why, I feel so funny. Tell me, how do you feel? I feel I'm going to faint. I'm dizzy, too, darling. 
Mary. Hi. Yes, dear. I don't know what to say. Well, that's nothing new, dear. But it's all right now. Just one thing you must do for me. Mary. What? I'll do anything for you. I know you will. I want you to always be as you are with me. I couldn't love you if you played with other girls. You, you wouldn't be that different fellow. And I don't want you to ever think your career doesn't come first, even with me. Because, dear, well, that's you. That's your makeup. And that's why I love you. See, dear? I see. Sure you do. So I want you to get that pin back and give it to me. I'll get it back all right, Mary. I know you will. Kiss me. Mary. What? Are we engaged? Well, of course we are. Think of it. Oh, kiss me, troubler. Stop thinking. Thinking only brings you confusion. Uh, we won't need you for a few minutes, so take it easy. All right, thanks. I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Yes. Um, I, I must see about something very important. Well, here I am. Uh, it's uh, about that pin. Oh, the pin. You see, I'm wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to get it back if I could. You want to get the pin back? But why? Well, it's uh, hard to explain, but I really need it. Oh, it's hard to explain, huh? Get in. No, uh... <laughs> I'd better not. Don't be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> uh, but what and what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, just looking. <laughs> so if you'll just give me the pin, I'm really late. Uh, Get in and I will. You're so nervous. Uh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Why do you do that? Uh, too much sun. Oh. Too much sun. Mm. Now, no one can look in. We are alone. Uh, but, but I must be going. If you just give me the... I will. But first you must talk. You must tell me what you really want this pin for. And the truth, my charming one. Well, I've got to give it to another girl. Oh, you've got to. No, I mean... You mean you do not specially want to. Yes, of course. Of course I do. Oh, but I thought the way you talked to me, I was the woman of your dreams. Oh, no. <laughs> not my dreams. <laughs> not my dreams. But you did give me the pin. Yes, and she saw me give it to you, too. She didn't. Yes, she did. I don't know how, but she did all right. Believe me, she sees everything. Well, never mind her. Huh? Now, 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 you must give me the pin and let me go. On one condition. What? One kiss first. Oh, dear. Just one. I'm afraid. Of what? She may see us. How can she see us? I don't know, but I don't trust her. Just one. Just one? A long one. Oh, dear. There she is. We're all ready for you. All right. Oh, boy, what a relief. <laughs> Did he fight you, too? Goodbye. But the pen. Yes. Bill. Well, Mother wrote me you were here, but I never expected to find you in a swell car like this. It's not mine. Say, Bill, I I've lost my class pin. I, I got to get one right away. Would you lend me yours for a few days? Why, sure. What do you want it for? I I I'll tell you the whole story when I return it. Oh, Bill, you fell right out of heaven. Bill, you saved my life. Wait till you see her. Bill! Oh, Bill! Oh, my God. Hey, boy, 
you caught us. Wait a minute. Wait, I don't want you to do. You put my business on the phone. What's the matter with you? Wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing? I have to call you my son. Hey, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder. Wait a minute. minute. Why, Mary arrived. How are you? Very happy. And why not? Do you see what I see? Is that the pin or isn't it? I ask you. It looks a little different to me. Oh, no. No different at all. Now, how could a pin change? <laughs> you had no trouble getting it? None at all. What did you say? I said, uh, look here, Spain. I'm very sorry, but I want that pin back. The most wonderful girl in the world and I are engaged. And everything I have belongs to her. So, come across. Just like that? Just like that. And what did she say? Well, what could she say? She just gave it to you. You bet she did. Just like that. Just like that. And now, darling, I'll pin it here where it belongs. And where it will stay forever. There. But I'm not angry with you, because I don't care anymore. It's cold. But, Mary... Oh, no, don't bother to lie about it. I saw you get in her car. I saw all the curtains come down. I saw you get out of the car. And I saw the pin. And what I've done to that phony thing with my heel is just what I've done to you in my heart. We're all washed up, Trouble. So run along and sell your papers. The party's over. Mary. Dorothy's inside. All right. Yes, sir. Would you give that to Miss Sears, please? Give him this, will you? <laughs> yes, sir. Check your code, dear. I'll meet you at the table, Eddie.
Pardon me. Why, Pal Flousy, oh. imagine finding you here. Well, well, Come well. Come on, darling, let's go. I'll see you later. Yes. <laughs> Come on, you old man, I'm awfully sorry. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Oh. Well, pardon me. Where's the washroom? Right out through that door, sir. Thank you. Oh. Well. Try the water yet? Uh, no, sir. Try it then. Slap it up. It's all ready, sir. What's the idea of the blowout? Oh, it's a party for the kettle. Head of the Planet Film Company. Can I help you, sir? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Whoop. <clears throat> Just a second. I'll get it. Glad to know you, Mr. Hall. I suppose you're in pictures too, and with us? Oh, yes. I, I just had my first test. How nice. It's so important to get a good start. Mm -hmm. Yes. This broadcast is coming to you from the green room of the Falcon Hotel in Hollywood, California. The next number will be a special request from Mrs. Wesley Kitterman, wife of the well known producer. All right, boys, hit it. Be a great help. Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Kidd. Oh, heaven! Oh, it was a bird. Funny place for a bird, I must say. It's a ridiculous place for a bird, Miss Kidd. <laughs> Simply ridiculous. <laughs> Pardon me. Respecters always make these straps too loose. Excuse me. <laughs> It's 
Is the other strap all right? The idea of having a salad of this kind without sliced egg is perfectly absurd. I'm very sorry, madam. I'll have it fixed for a second. My husband, Mr. Crumplin. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Crumplin. <laughs> how do you do, Mr. Hall? Oh, uh, how do you do? <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. I'll help you to clean it off, sir. Never mind. Never mind. I got it. Say, what about my order? Uh, your wife will be here in just a moment, sir. Get him here. I want a little shit. Yes, sir. should have slapped him in the face. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll teach you to play jokes on me. Hi, pal. Look who's here. Your little Margie. Let's dance, baby. But, Mrs. Kitterman, I, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Yes, I think I'll get Mr. Kitterman and go right home. I'm all upset. What? The idea. <laughs> Who did that? Oh, come on, you put your arm around me. Don't leave me out in the cold. Yeah. I'm going right home. Oh, please. Please finish out the dance with me.
Bertha took my coat. Oh, how could I make such a mistake? Don't start alibying on and knock your block off. Do you mind letting me see your invitation? Of course not. That's funny. Where is it? Ten to one, he never had one. <laughs> How funny. Are you sure you had one? Of course. Miss Mary Sears sent it to me. Is Miss Sears here? No, not yet. But, uh, oh. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. There she is now. Mary! Mary! What is it? What is it? Didn't you invite me to the party? Didn't you? What party? This party. Of course I didn't. You must be crazy. Invite you to the party. <laughs> Still trying to be funny, eh? He was trying to be funny, all right. I know him. He's just a bluff. Throw him out. Show him to the door, boy. Come on. Very sorry this is all happening. Oh, I'll shut up, bro. Did they hurt you? No, I'm all right. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in trouble. Of course, I should have known. It's all right, Mary. Nothing to be sorry about. Look, I just found out you didn't invite me. Oh. But I really thought you had. And I thought you'd forgiven me. But now that I know you haven't, I won't bother you anymore. It must be pretty tiresome being chased by someone you don't want to see, and I promise you it won't happen again. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Then what'd you go for? I didn't. You did too. Did they hurt your knee? No, not a bit. Let me see. No, it's all right, really. It's... Well, as I won't be seeing you again, I'll... I'll just say goodbye and... and I'll just say goodbye. Goodbye, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Oh, yes. Open up the door. Hey, what's all the noise? Oh, sure. Hello, Trouble. Oh! Yes, it's me. Oh, Mary Sears. Still sticking around, eh? I thought I told you to keep away from her. What right have you to tell me what to do? Just this. If I can't have her, nobody can. I'd kill her first. You'd what? You'd hurt her? You heard me. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, no? Say, if you ever touched her, I'd... Oh, you'd protect her, huh? A great big man like you. Well... <laughs> I never thought of that. Oh, you're a hero. Let me congratulate you. 
Sure, sure, you'd protect her. You'd probably kick me in the shins like that. Oh. And you'd grab me, and you'd shake me. Shake the life out of me, I know, I know. And then when you had me nice and groggy, you let me have it, just like that.
Come on. Come on. Get him. Come on. Before he murders you. I can't seem to remember all that happened. You can take my word for it. Plenty happened. You wrecked everything. And if I were you, I wouldn't show up around here anymore. But I had a test, and it was a success. Listen, the boys have been kidding you. Why, the test was a terrible flop. They just laughed at it. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't kid you. Oh, but don't take it to heart. Why, 99 out of 100 fail out here just because it ain't their game. So take my advice and blow home. Who is he? Who is he? Why, who is who, Mr. Kidderman? That's the funniest fight I ever saw. Why, that scene will sell the picture all by itself. I wish we had more like him under contract. Oh, him? Yeah. But, Mr. Kidderman, he has no contract. Well, no contract? No. Good heavens, where is he? We must sign him at once before somebody grabs him. I'll return him tomorrow. Okay. There he is. Get him, get him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Trouble, oh, listen. Mr. Kitterman, the boss of all this, just saw that fight. He thinks it's part of the picture, and he thinks you're great. Huh? What? Now don't talk, just listen. He's coming to offer your contract, and all you've got to do is sign and apologize afterwards. Well, well uh, now, come on. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is, Mr. Kitterman. This is Mr. Trouble. I'm uh, Harold Hall. How do you do, my boy? Say, let me congratulate you on the best performance I've seen this year. But better still, let me say it with a contract. Get in, my boy. Get in. We'll drive to my office. Congratulations. But, Mr. Kitterman, just a minute. Mr. Kitterman's a very busy man, dear. He can't wait. Get uh, in, get in. I know he's worried about the money, but don't be. When Wesley Kitterman likes anything, he's willing to buy it. He's eager to buy it. Now get right in, my boy. Get right in. Uh, get but in. Mr. Kitterman, you got this all wrong. That fight had nothing to do with the picture. That that was a real fight. I wasn't acting. What? What's this you're saying? Well, he means that. Uh, I'm mean, uh, what uh, I'm uh, saying. Uh, I ruined the whole scene with that fight, Mr. Kitterman. And the director said if he ever caught me in this slot again, he'd strangle me. What? Why I. Uh, I must be... Well, I don't seem to know anything what's going on around here. I, I just don't seem to know anything. Now you've done it. A fortune on a silver platter, and you turn it down. You're nothing but trouble. Well, I won't be anymore. I'm leaving tonight. Well, what are you talking about now? Well, you know that test I took? I thought it was a hit, but it was a flop. What test? That love scene I told you about. I thought I was great in it, but all they did was laugh at it. You can't make love. I've always told you that. But when you don't make love, when you're just what you are, you're the loveliest guy in the world, Trouble. There's nobody even near you. Except me. I'm near. Look. And I want to stay. See? I got you back again. Is that what you mean? Try and get rid of me. It's no good now. We wouldn't be happy. Listen, Trouble. You've given me nothing but worry since the moment I met you. And it's in my blood. I can't do without it. And I don't care who's looking. Kiss me. Hey, you. Come with me, you wanted. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. I told him it's an accident. Don't tell me. I don't know anything about it. Well, Come on. Well, don't worry, dear. Now, I'm right with you. 
Mr. Kitterman, here he is. Show him in. Come in here. Mr. Hall, I've been thinking it over, and I don't care whether that was a real scene or not, I'm going to offer you a contract. Darling. Mr. O'Brien tells me that you were probably the worst actor he ever saw in his life. Now, that may be true, Mr. Hall, but the fact remains you made me laugh whether you intended to or not. <laughs> what are you laughing at? His face. Look at it. <laughs> I don't see anything funny about it. It's a ridiculous looking face. That's just it. Anyway, Mr. Hall, you work hard and prove to him that I'm right. Now, Mr. O'Brien will look after the contract and the other little details. <laughs> Young man, come here and sign this contract. Come, come, sign here. Now, there's just one more little detail, and then everything will be all right. Oh. Well... I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. O'Brien. Come on, trouble. <laughs> 